Hi, I'm Ted from Ted Brakes, and we're today with a Kubota diesel that we've installed the front braking system on the Ted Brake. And we're just going to go over a couple of things and show you how we've done it and, and tell you why that this makes such a good combination on a Kubota uh, zero turn mower. To start with, if you were in it, and we're going we're gonna to go to my house here shortly, we're going to show you some video of what happens to a mower if you turn off the switch while you're operating on a hill. And that would be the same effect as if your mower were to break a pump belt or something, which is your drive unit on your mower, which is basically going to take you out of control and take all of your braking away. At that point, you're going to be searching for your park brake. Some are located better than others. In other words, a bad boy mower has a lever right here you pick up. It's not perfect, but at least you can access it. On a Kubota mower and some of the John Deere units, simply for safety in my opinion, they have moved the park brake to where it would be a normal position like in a car. So we've also put the TED brake right beside it where, where they can be applied together. Now these could be connected, but then the liability would come back on me. So if the customer wants to connect it, he can. Uh, it's a pretty neat system having the front brakes and the rear brakes here, where that was with the brake on, the part brake. You can push both brakes on this the way we've designed it at the same time to give you the maximum stopping capability. Now, if you're operating on a hill and you're going down a hill and you don't want to leave traction marks to be able to go down the hill slowly with control, then you can use partial on the TED brakes, which is going to slow down the front and keep you from having to use your rear traction so much because as your mower transfers, as the weight transfers to the front, as you go down a hill, your rear is getting lighter the whole time and your front is getting heavier. So that's why the TED brakes work so good when the mower is headed downhill as you're losing traction with the rear. So on this mower, you are able to get to both brakes at the same time. You could operate them independently. Uh, so this is probably the safest mower that I'm sitting on in the world at this point, being that both brakes are in the front. Okay, so now after seeing the video and being able to obviously tell that these brakes could help you stop on a hill, between the few components it takes for the astronomical cost that I incur trying to buy these components, such as racing uh, calipers and rotors that are off of a Kawasaki racing four-wheeler, is going to be a lot different for the manufacturers. The manufacturers can absolutely buy these essential components in high quantities and gun drill these spindles before they're welded into these yokes. Uh, I'm guesstimating that there's no reason why any manufacturer should ever spend over $200 to be able to accomplish every bit of this. And with time, and buying power, they should be able to get manufacturing costs to actually under $100. And then if you take that $100 into, a, into a account and you think of all the insurance claims and all the deaths and, and what the insurance ends up paying out every year for their liability product, liability insurance, for building a zero turn mower, then actually the cost of your mower could actually come down instead of going up after they start recouping the money that they're spending on liability. So all the manufacturers out there, I hope all you owners of zero turn mowers, all the ones considering buying them, will go to this page that's on Ted Brake's website and request that the mower company that you like, you can go to any of these mower manufacturers here and simply request that brakes should be offered. Now I've had over a thousand offers so far, people wanting me to put brakes on them. And at the cost it costs me to put brakes on, and the time it takes to engineer every unit just simply is not cost effective. And I also have another business, so I can't take the time it takes to really do it. So I'm urging all of the owners out there to contact the manufacturers and make this happen because if you think I'm trying to get rich off of it, I'm talking about $15 a unit is my part. And that is a very small price. 
So for $15 a unit, the manufacturers can be doing it for you. Don't think or let somebody mislead you that I'm after millions of dollars to be able to use this patent. We simply want to see it be used and be able to keep you safe. <laughs>